Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn about basic bodies block measurement and its pattern design with the help of CAD softwares. Before starting the process, let's understand the basic bodies block and its importance. A basic bodies block, sometimes refers to as a sloper, is the foundation of all other patterns. In other words, we can say that the basic bodies block is the basic structural and fun functional building block of all other patterns. It is the most basic form of a pattern drafted to a specific set of body measurements and fit to a specific body shape. Once the basic bodies block has been drafted and refined to fit, it's ready to be used as a starting point to creating other pattern designs in any styles your heart desires. The theory is that if the block fits, any garments made from it will also fit. In the fashion industry, even in pattern companies, this is how consistency in sizing and fit is established for specific brands. There are the following types of basic bodice block measurements. So let's understand about the measurement criteria of the basic bodice block. So number one is the circumferential body measurement. Second, vertical body measurement. And third, horizontal body measurement. Circumferential body measurement, uh, the use of a tape to measure the circumference of the body is called as circumferential body measurement. These are as follows. Waist circumference measurement which is equal to 66 cm for the 40 size. Your waist is the bit in between your rib case and your hips. It is often the narrowest point of your torso. Next measurement is the bust circumference measurement which is equal to 89 cm for 40 size. For your bust measurement, find the flesh point of your breasts and take a horizontal measurement from there. Ensure the tape measure remains horizontal as it wraps around your back. Next measurement is the next neck circumference which is equal to 36 cm for 40 size. To take your neck measurement, wrap the, wrap the tape, measure around the base of your neck, making sure it is not too tight. Secondly is the vertical body measurement. The use of a tape to measure the parts of the body in a vertical manner is called as vertical body measurement. These are as follows. Nape of the neck to waist measurement which is equal to 39.1 cm. This measurement is a little tricky to take on your arm. Start at the nape of your neck and measure vertically down to your waist. Easiest way to do this is to tow a piece of elastic around your waist and have someone measure down from the nape of your neck to the elastic on your waist. Next measurement is the nape of the neck to bust line which is equal to 20.05 cm. Again the easiest way to take this measurement will be to tie a piece of elastic around your bust and have someone measure down from the nape of your neck to the elastic. Next measurement is the shoulder to bust measurement which is equal to 20.02 cm. For the shoulder to bust measurement, hold the tape measure in the middle of your shoulder approximately where your uh, bra strap sits and measure down to bust point following the curve of your breast. Next one is the arm's eye length. Place three finger under arm, then draw horizontal line across back. Make sure that the line is parallel to the ground. Mark a point at the center back, which intersect the traced line. 
measure it from the neck of the neck to the marked point. Third is the horizontal body measurement. The use of tape to measure the parts of the body in a horizontal manner. Uh, it should be parallel to the ground is called as horizontal body measurement. These are as follows. Shoulder length which is equal to 13 cm for the 40 sizes. To measure the length of your shoulder, first find the peak of your shoulder. This is the bony bit before your shoulder becomes your upper arm. Now measure the um, measure between the base of your neck and the peak of your shoulder. Next measurement is the back width which is equal to 35.3 cm. Your back width is the horizontal measurement of your back from the bottom of a standard armhole across to the other armhole. Next measurement is the bust to uh, uh, bust to bust point to bust point length which is also called as a bust divergence which is equal to 17 centimeter measure the distance from apex to apex it should be parallel to the ground on the basis of the above measurement discussion i have created the drafting process chart with the help of this drafting chart we will complete the basic bodice block design in cad so let's start so uh, to do the drafting of the basic bodice block so you can see this is the drafting process chart we have created according to the above measurement discussions so to start the designing first of all we have to open the CAD software you can see here uh, first of all we have to create the storage area rule table user environment and path to start before starting any designs so to create the storage area you have to come here you can see this option Echomark Explorer double left click over there then you can see that the user interface of the Echomark Explorer will start to appear now what to do we have to create the folder for the basic bodies block so very first step is that we have to select the C drive, we have to go to the file, new, V8 storage area and we have to provide the name for the storage area of the basic bodies block in short form as a BBB, basic bodies block and then OK. Now you have to double left to click to this storage area, uh, BBB and right click new rule table. So we have to create the rule table for this basic basic bodies block this panel will appear we have to select the numeric size and this base size is 40 and the step bit size is two step is there the smallest size is 36 and the next one is your uh, 38 and uh, 40 42 and 44 so these are the rule tables now we have to after the making decision for the sizes we have to save as it and we have to provide the name as a BBV rule table and save it after making this rule table we have to come to this process option and we have to select this pattern design menu double left to click over here then you will see that the pattern designs uh, software in the Gerber Mark will start to appear now we can see the user interface of the design work area has been appeared so really uh, before starting the design we have to create the path for your storage area because whatever you will save it will store automatically into your created folder so for that we have to create the path so we have to select the path option device is C and your storage area is already here mentioned we have created and notch is P notch table and BBB rule table and after the selection of all these options we have to apply save and then ok now last and final 
setting is the user environment setting. For this is very important selection of the measurement units. Whether you want to design your patterns in inches measurement or in centimeters. So two options is here metric and imperial. Metric means centimeter, imperial means inches. So we have to select the metric option and then save it and then close it. Now we are just going to start our design work. So before starting the design, we have to create the rectangle. Rectangle means maximum width and the maximum length of your garment. And after that, we will have to according to the drafting process chart, we can see here maximum width is 46.5 centimeter. So we have to just copy this value and come to your uh, design work area and select the rectangle tool and you have to activate the value option by the user input from the user input and left click to your work area then your in user input, input will activate you can see here two options there x and y x will define the width of our garment and y will identify the length of the garment so we have to enter the width of the garment by pressing ctrl v option and the length we can see here into the measurement chart that is a 41.4 centimeter just we have to copy it and we have to paste it into the length y-axis and just hit the enter button and give the name of this design basic bodies block hit the enter button right click and then now we can see the overall the rectangles has been completed so now we have to provide the name of all these points with the help of annotation tool left click to that come to your point and put the name as a and default size should be one and we have to just uh, apply it and just to copy we can see a point name has been identified now we have to mention here b point and then apply and just copy and we have to mention here c point apply and then ok we have identified all these points next very important uh, uh, points is the waist to back neck length so waist to back neck length you can see here we have to draw the waist to back neck length that is the 40.1 centimeter so just to copy this value of the measurement and after copy you come to your work area this is your waistline basic bodice block for the upper garment will be end at the waist so this is the waistline just to go to the offset menu select this point line right click and then ok now you have to enter minus value and pressing ctrl v enter the value of this measurement and then ok right click and then ok now this line has been drafted now we have to provide the name to this point with the help of annotation tool left click right click and then ok and the point's name is t font size is 1 and just apply it and then ok now we have to draw the center line to this rectangle so for that purpose we have to go verify line length and just we have to verify this length and this line right click and then ok next thing is that we have to go to the create menu offset left click and select this uh, vertical line left click right click and then ok and uh, we have to go to the calculator we have to divide this 46.5 into two parts 46.5 divided by 2 and just apply this value and then ok 23 so minus 23.25 hit the enter button right click and then this is the center line so we have to provide the name of this point also with the help of annotation tool left click right click and then ok we have to enter the value here f default size should be to we have to change the size as well and then just apply and then ok <coughs> Next things according to the measurement uh, drafting chart we can we have to draw uh, this is the DH from 
waist to bust vertical measurement 20.05 cm from waist to vertical measurement we have to take so as you can see this is the waistline so vertical measurement uh, we have to go to the offset menu select the waistline you have to click right click and then ok and just enter the value here Control v and don't forget to enter the value of minus and hit the enter button right click and then ok now with the help of annotation tool we have to provide the name to this point as like a edge before changing the size as by one and just you have to apply this is the edge point and the same to the, this end point we have to copy and we have to mention here eye point and we have to apply and then ok right click and then okay. next according to the drafting chart we have to draw the uh, we have to give the name to this line also so this line is the bust line with the help of annotation tool have to click right click and then ok bust line b and in short form and we have to provide the uh, font size apply just a copy and then at this position also we have to apply right click and then okay. now according to measurement chart we have to do a bust to shoulder vertical measurement 6.68 centimeter just we have to copy this value and we have to enter uh, we have to just go to the offset menu left to click right click and then ok and we have to enter here minus and paste the value vertical value and then ok so this is our shoulder line with the help of annotation to left click right click repeat the process sl change the font size by one and just apply it and copy it for the other portion also now according to the measurement chart we can see here we have to draw the half across shoulder which is 19.4 centimeter we have to just copy this value for half of across shoulder which is dg so just we have to copy this value and go to the uh, work area and select the two point option and perpendicular online and uh, we have to come to the end of the d point without releasing left click is the right click and simultaneously release both the click with the help of this process one arrow will activate then you have to enter the value by pressing ctrl v and then ok now deactivate the value here and you can you have to join this line perpendicular line directly it should intersect to the uh, bust line to verification we have to go to the view zooming and we have to verify whether it is properly intersected or not if not go to the modify point line and you have to select this point and just exactly to this point you have to fix it view and full screen to fix it to the work area now with the help of annotation tool we have to give the name to this point as like h1 and we have to change the font size by phone and just apply so this point's name is h1 and then ok now next option according to the drafting charts is the arms eye bottom width that is 10.9 cm for 40 sizes just copy it and uh, we have to go offset menu left click to this line right click and then ok activate value and pray enter minus control v and hit the enter button right click and then ok now you can see that this vertical line has been appeared now we have to provide the name with the help of annotation tool as like i1 and for font size should be one and just apply and then okay. so h1 i1 these are the two points for the arms i bottom with next process according to the drafting chart is the top neck front neck opening which is equal to 6.46 cm just to copy this value and come to your work area 
and we have to select the two point curve option come to the end of the E point without releasing left click press right click simultaneously release both the click the arrow will activate as you can see here now we have to enter the value by pressing ctrl V and then ok now we have to again select this uh, drag by clicking left come to the end point of A without releasing left click press right click simultaneously release both the click and come to the user input menu and box and we have to enter the value here according to that down front neck opening which is uh, 7.46 just copy this value and we have to enter here by pressing ctrl v and hit the enter button now we have to provide the front neck opening curve proper right click and then open. similarly we have to repeat the process according to flow chart uh, drafting chart so back neck opening so back neck opening is equal to 7.46 so just to come here we have to select the two point perpendicular on line come to the end point of D um, and without releasing left click press the right simultaneously release both the click and then we have to enter the value by pressing ctrl V and we have to hit the enter button and now we have to activate the value so now next uh, we have to enter minus 2.5 centimeter for back neck top opening and then ok right click and then okay. with the help of annotation tool we have to provide the name according to the drafting charts T N N and N P so this value is N left click right click and then ok and change the font size by 1 and you have to apply it if you want to move you can move this value just a copy and you have to come here and we have to provide the name as P and just apply it and then if you want to move so you can move it and then ok now we have to draw the back neck curve with the help of two point curve tools and left click deactivate value and we have to come to the end of D and we have to provide the back neck curve shape right click and then ok next option is uh, this one this point name is G so with the help of annotation tool we have to give the name by G default size 1 and just apply it if you want to move this annotation with the help of move tools you can move it now we have to according to the drafting process we have to draw back uh, shoulder slope which is 2.5 centimeter so we have to apply back shoulder slope so we have to come uh, to the two point main option and we have to come to the end of this G and we have to right click without releasing left and simultaneously release both the click then you will see the arrow will activate you have to enter the value by pressing ctrl V and hit the enter button and then this line you have to join by the point of P right click and then okay now this is the shoulder line with the help of annotation tool we have to give the name to this point this is O default font size should be 1 just apply and move it wherever you want to move then ok next uh, similarly we have to uh, draw the front uh, shoulder drop so front shoulder drop will be same as it is so just go two point come to this point left right click at a time both click is there and release both the click come to the end box in the user input uh, panel and we have to enter the same value by pressing ctrl v 2.5 and just hit the enter button and come to this end point of the neck curve line so just with the help of annotation tool we have to give the name of this point also as like a u and font size by 1 and just apply 
just copy this one and this point name also is u1 and apply and then ok right click and now we have to uh, according to our drafting charts you can see here front and back shoulder length should be 12 plus 1 which is equal to 13 centimeter at present what is the exact length of the back and front shoulder length so we have to go to the verify line length left click over there and left click to the to the center back line uh, back shoulder line and front shoulder line right click and click. so at present we can see that the length of the back shoulder is 12.94 and front shoulder is 16.98 so but we want 13 centimeter exactly to do the verification modification we have to come to the modify uh, left click over here left click to the point line tool and come to the end of O to this line back shoulder line and uh, release the left click come to the end box now we have to enter the value 13 centimeter and hit the enter button now we can see that the back shoulder length has been modified to 13 cm. Similarly, we have to repeat the process for front shoulder length. We have to come to the end box into the user input. We have to enter the value 13 and hit the enter button. Right click and then OK. Now we have to uh, uh, divide the bust line into two half equal parts. For that, we have to go to the modify split and come to the end of the edge point by clicking left and don't uh, release the left click press the right click and release both the click at a time now we have to enter the value 50 percent and hit the enter button right click and then okay then you can see that this line has been successfully divided into two half equal parts okay so now we have to draw the arms eye front and back arms eye curve for that we have to select the two point curve come to the end point of the back shoulder line and activate the cursor from user input and come to the center point of the bust line and likewise we have to draw a curve Similarly, we have to draw this curve and uh, come to the end of the center point line to the end of the center point line and this curve we have to draw accordingly as I am showing here and then finish it. This is the arms I curves has been completed next option according to the drafting chart we can see here what is the bust divergence so bust divergence is 8.5 centimeter so just to copy it and go to the work area now we can see here we have to go modify split and end to the eye point and right click and release both the click at one now come to the end box into user input enter the value by pressing ctrl v and hit the enter button right click and then ok now we can see the point has been appeared now next very important things is that we have to um, draw the bag, uh, front ham width and the back ham width so, it has been identified as uh, 20 centimeter is the front back width just to copy this value and come to your work area go to the create menu and select the two point option and come to the end point of P and press the right click at a time come to the end box into user input and by pressing ctrl V you have to enter the value and hit the enter button now you have to come to the center point of the bust line and just to make match this point right click and then ok same process we have to repeat for the back ham width come to the two point 
come to the C point by pressing left click and without releasing left press the right at a time and simultaneously release both the click and enter the value bottom uh, back hundredth by pressing ctrl V and hit the enter button and just meet this line exactly to the center point of the waist bust line right click and then ok now we can see that the hand line has also been hand width has been completely drafted now next very essential and important you can see here that the drafting work has been completed so likewise we can be able to create the basic body plot pattern according to the drafting measurement charts so now we have to check out the pattern from this draft so there is front part and back part so we have to take out we have to eliminate or uh, from the uh, from this draft so you have to use the trace option left click over there and select the outline of your uh, pattern in a clockwise direction likewise we can see we have selected if any other line if you want select so you can select it uh, right click and then ok again right click and now we can see that the now input the name this is back part and hit the enter button right click and then ok now we have to remove all the unwanted annotations right click select all uh, cancel it go to the annotation right click select all again right click delete so all unwanted annotation has been deleted from this work area now we have to go to the create annotation and we have to give the name uh, provide the information to this pattern so left click right click and give the name as a back part and how much pattern so you want cut so you have to enter here cut one piece only default size should be 2 and just you have to apply and move the information to fix it in appropriate place after you right click and then ok now similarly we have to trace out the pattern of front part of the basic bodice block so we have to select outline of the front part in a clockwise direction without any mistake all the lines should be joined properly otherwise your pattern error will show right click and then ok again right click and then ok now you have to give the name as a front part with the enter button right click and then ok now we can see this is the front part so we have to go to the annotation to provide the information give the f p and how much pieces you want cut so you have to enter here cut 2 and default size should be 2 and just apply and then ok right click and then now we can see that uh, the uh, front and back parts of the upper body garments basic bodice block of the upper body garments has been completely drafted if you want to put the dot so you have to go to the advanced menu and select the dot option add dot come to the end of this point right click and release both the click at a time and enter the 50% like value and hit the enter button now what sh length should be according to your choice and the width should be 2 cm according to drafting measurement chart and hit the entry button right click and then similarly we have to draft the waste dot add go to this option and 50% uh, we have to enter here hit the enter button and what should be the waste dot length according to the drafting chart we have mentioned the waste uh, dot length is equal to hip circumference minus waist circumference which is equal to 23 centimeter so we have to enter here uh, uh, value 
activate the value and 23 centimeter and hit the enter button and the width of the dart is 2 centimeter enter and hit the enter button right click and then ok similarly we have to apply the waist dart to the back part so go to the aid and dart come to the end point right click and release both the clip at a time arrow will activate we press the 50 percent and hit the enter button and the value will be 23 centimeter hit the length of the dart and width should be 2 centimeter hit enter button right click and then okay. next is the big back uh, uh, show back shoulder dart so go to the add and you have to select it and length whatever is there now what should be the length of the dart so 5 centimeter as you can enter here okay and the width should be 2 centimeter and hit the enter button uh, right click and then okay. so likewise we can see that we have applied the dart also to this front and back part so uh, now we have to save this pattern save this so we have to select this pattern print. front part has been mentioned here we have to in the folder of basic body block save it similarly we have to select this pattern save it yes and if you want to save your drafting also so you can save it right click and then ok I hope that this class will be very much helpful for you thank you for this class